In this video, I will show how we can effectively model with inside Ecotech analysis and how we can import 2D drawing as an underlay for doing quick redrawing of our model because it's sometimes it's too complex to import the model and it's a bit more easy just to make a simple plain view with inside uh, Revit or another program and then import that to quickly model the zones with inside Ecotech analysis. I have now opened the conceptual environment with inside Ecotech and we're going to do some simple modeling and then we're going to import a 2D drawing that we can use as our modeling foundation. The first thing I want to do is I want to go to file, I want to go to user preference and set up my default zone height. Let's set that to 2400 say this session only and then we can either just hit the zone command here we can also add partitions or planes if we want to do that and we can also go in and use this rectangle rect liner zone tool here so let's just start modeling a very simple zone please notice that the status bar up here that you can lock the different axes stuff like that so let's click the starting point and go to F5 to a plane view because it's sometimes a bit more easy and then I can just type in the distance let's say 6000 here and I'm just snapping over here if you want to change the snap settings you can go up here on that icon here and a great thing about this program is that you can keep the command going from a plan view to a 3D view and stuff like that and a side view so now we made a very simple zone we can also hit this draw command here Rect liner zone tool here, okay. Say like this and give the zone a name and right click, repeat, and then just keep sketching out our layout, repeat zone like that. Do the next floor level here like that. So go to the visualize tab and press fit to grid to really fit down the object here. Let's go back to the 2D editor. Let's delete these objects here. Say yes. And let's import a 2D drawing that we can use as underlay. So here I go to this folder here and I just drag in the 2D plane. And I want to put this as just group it by file name. And I want to go to material and set as line like that and just say import into existing. Now this is really just a, a layer like you know from AutoCAD. I want to change the color to make it black it's a bit more easy to see just right click here and now I have a really cool drawing that I can snap to if it's too complex to import them all from Revit or another application then it's sometimes just faster to to do a floor plane here and then fast model the zones so I go to the zone tool and then I can just start to let's go to F5 to a plane view and then it's really just starting out modeling this plane here like that say escape okay and right click repeat add zone go there 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 and there okay escape and go to f8 and we can see that we're now modeling the zone let's go into the visualize tab let's press fit to grid so the next thing i want to do is i want to add in some windows here because i can see from our plan that there's some windows so i'm going to click the element and i'm going to say insert child object and then I'm going to put in the right height and the cell height of the window, void, panel, or door I want to add. So this is a window. I set the height here and I say create from interactive lines, drawing a plan here. And then I can just simply start clicking here and here, here and here. Go F5 to a plan view and put in the window here. One important factor is that when you do this, you'll see that the direction or error here can be a bit tickling. So remember to mark out the windows and just make sure that they're pointing, pointing the right direction. Another issue here modeling this way is that if we hit the, the wall here and go to to the selection information you see that it's not really understanding the links here so before you're doing anything please mark up the objects here and say fix links and only have the two ones below here fixed okay so now they updated and they see the relation between the window and the wall which is very important in any simulation in here so i think that's really 
the key thing here, you will see that a zone is consisting of walls, ceilings, and floors, and you can you can sh go from different elements nearest, just hitting the spacebar, and you can then go to material. If you want to change the material, go to select by element type, say walls, and select the material you want to apply from your material library here. And then you can go to visualize, and you can go to the eye here, visualization settings, and you can change to material color to display the material color on your model here. So this is kind of the way that you can quickly model and use a 2D drawing if it's too complex to import the model.